Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and we are back with our original Astrology Basics playlist and we are here with another example chart. So this is a very beautiful chart to illustrate this principle of taking loans and paying back loans. So many times I get this question, people ask me very frequently that I want to take this car loan, I want to take this home loan, I want to take a loan for my business, I want to take an education loan, I want to take a loan uh, for some health purposes or I want to buy land or whatever, or you know, I want to uh, give money to somebody, uh, there could be a number of reasons why you would want to take a loan. Um, but how do I know using astrology that will I be able to pay that loan off okay uh, so therefore in certain circumstances there are certain principles that uh, I will share with you now and you can also try uh, with your chart in case you had taken any loan uh, or in case you know somebody who is you know asking this question will they be able to pay it back now of course when we uh, analyze if the person will be able to pay back we are not going to analyze too much in detail because there will always be ups and downs you know there will always be periods where uh, the person will be able to pay back a bit less or a bit more right but we want to analyze the mahadashas especially if it is a home loan all right of course it depends on the tenure of the loan uh, not only for a home loan but generally home loans are very big right so then we need to follow certain principles uh, from the horoscope and especially in the dashas right so what are some of the principles so whenever a dustana first let's discuss when is it possible that you take a loan in the first place right paying back the loan or unable to pay it back is the next step but first you want to understand when could you be in a situation where you feel that yes now maybe it's the time i need to take a loan so whenever the dustana houses get activated right then you could feel the need to take a loan right so for example what is the sixth house sixth house shows uh, some agreement some money basically right some bonding some bondage right but sixth house shows something to do with law so when you take a loan loan what happens you know you have to put a collateral and you get bound right uh, then we have the eighth house eighth house is the core house of loans which you can get either from the government or anybody or primarily from the family or relatives but it can also show generic loans which you get from banks okay sixth house also but eighth house also shows money which you are closed uh, friends and family can lend with lower interests of course and then the 12th house the 12th house shows expenditure so you want to make an expenditure first business loans for example and then you want to get profits right so then when these houses get activated either by planetary placement or lordship or by nakshatras then you know that there could be a tendency to take a loan right so once you see that then you need to see what is going on in the Mahadashas okay in, so if the person has taken a car loan maybe 7 to 10 years will be the age of the loan uh, and if the person has taken a home loan maybe 20 years or 25 years in US or Europe it can go up to 30 35 years you know, sometimes even up to 40 years right but if it's a home loan and it's in India then at least 15 20 years and if it is US then at least 25 years at least right can be less also but in general so what you should do is uh, you should check the upcoming Mahadashas and try to see which houses they are indicating so for paying back loans if the 10th house and the 11th house are somehow indicated by planet or by nakshatra uh, or by lordships i mean planetary lordships or planetary placements or by the nakshatra lord then it is highly probable that you will be able to pay back that loan okay in the upcoming mahadashas okay back to back consecutive so for example this is the horoscope of a person who had approached me some time back uh, 
this person is uh, born on 4th of December 1986 11.50 a.m. Gurgaon, Haryana, India so this person uh, is wanting to take a home loan right so this person had approached me some time back but the question is why did this person approach me recently right because you see what is going on in his chart now all right we will analyze that later first let, let's see what is going on so currently he is in Rahu Mahadasha right so what's going on with this Rahu so if you see oops Rahu now uh, is in the second house now of course this is the Lagna chart this is not the placement um, the placement should be taken from the Bhava chart but for sake of simplicity I am assuming that these plants are in the same houses and it's also quite the case because of the degree of the ascendant one degree right uh, but in general placement should always be taken from the bhava chart right so if you have not watched my video on bhava chart then please go and watch it okay so aspects and conjunctions should be seen from the lagna chart and then we should uh, take the placements uh, and the lordships from the bhava chart always all right so do not forget this all right so now we need to analyze rahu so what does Rahu indicate? Rahu is sitting in the second house, but Rahu Ketu gives results of the dispositors also, right? So what's going on with Rahu? Rahu's dispositor is Jupiter because he is in sign number 12, which is Pisces ruled by Jupiter. So what about Jupiter? Jupiter is uh, sitting in the Lagna, ruling the 11th house, right? And Rahu Ketu gives results of uh, planets which aspect them. Okay, so does Mars aspect Rahu? Does Jupiter aspect Rahu? No. Moon doesn't aspect. Saturn does not aspect. Sun does not aspect. Mercury does not aspect. Venus doesn't aspect. So, there there is no other uh, aspect. So that means uh, Rahu is indicating the first house, the second house and the eleventh house primarily, essentially, right? Now the interesting thing is Rahu is in the sign of Pisces but which nakshatra is he placed in? Go and see the nakshatra that will give you clues, right? So if you go to the nakshatra you can see Rahu is in the sign of, uh, in the nakshatra of Revati within Pisces, right? So that means Revati which is ruled by Mercury. So now Mercury will uh, actually decide if Rahu's desires, wishes will be fulfilled or not. Okay. <coughs> so now what, what, what is going on with Mercury? So Mercury is the 8th Lord. So he will get a desire to take loan. Okay. And Mercury is the 5th Lord. So 8th Lord again others money. Right. And Mercury is in the ninth house, right? So you see the Dustana houses are somehow getting associated with Rahu, as I said, either by planet replacement or by lordship or by Nakshatra Lord, right? So the Nakshatra Lord of Rahu, which is Mercury, is lording the eighth house. So it, it is quite natural that this person will want to take a loan during Rahu Mahadasha. Okay. But now you see what is going on. So last year this person had approached me so you see Rahu Saturn was there in the beginning of last year but Rahu Mercury started from February last year so after some time of Mercury Dasha this person had approached me <coughs> so now see again Mercury himself is the eighth Lord so the desire to take a loan will be much intense but the thing is before Mercury he was running Saturn see so it is but natural that he must have uh, got this desire from the beginning of Saturn Dasha itself. Because why do I say this? Because Saturn is also the Lord of the 12th house. Remember 6th house, 8th house, 12th house. But maybe he thought now uh, he, I may not take or maybe he, he was not destined to take a loan during Saturn. But at least during Mercury he ended up taking it. Right. So now his question is he, he has taken a home, lo home loan okay. I mean 
he is in the US so he is wanting to know I mean of course now he has already taken the loan but before he took the loan he had consulted me and asked me that okay uh, will I be able to pay back this loan quite reasonably well okay maybe there are ups and downs some certain months you can't pay and you know there is some penalty but overall will it happen that I will have to uh, give away the mortgage or whatever you know like there will be some severe crisis and I won't be able to pay off this loan so then what did I do I took this uh, year 2021 and plus if I do 30 right so 30 years this is 2051 right so that means Rahu Mahadasha entire Jupiter Mahadasha entire and Saturn Mahadasha right now I won't put much emphasis on Saturn because if he can at least uh, pay it off well till Sa Jupiter Mahadasha most of the people if they are like reasonably well then they pay off their loan before right of course unless you are into some like amortization work or some real estate business you know where people keep extending their loan but generally normally people don't do it like the general public right so he's not into real estate so he's just a normal person he's just taken a home loan like big house he has purchased so i mean he wanted to so now see now what is happening i need to check rahu and primarily jupiter so if he can pay back till Rahu and Jupiter Dasha ends, so this is 47, so this is like 25 years from now. So maybe most likely he will be able to pay it off, okay. And he also has a very well paying job and his salary is way, 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 way more than his mortgage, right, uh, the EMI. So it is but natural that in 25 years he will be able to pay it back, right. So now you go and see what's going on. Rahu is the 10th house or the 11th house associated with Rahu you need to check this okay so as I said Rahu's dispositor Jupiter is the 11th Lord so bang on he will be able to pay it very easily during Rahu Mahadasha okay so that's all you need to check and then you need to check Jupiter 16 years right so Jupiter is himself the 11th Lord fantastic second Lord of wealth again fantastic right then you can also check Jupiter's nakshatra if you go and check Jupiter is in Purva Bhadrapada nakshatra so who is the lord of Purva Bhadrapada Jupiter himself right so Jupiter is sitting in his own nakshatra so so this is guaranteed that he will be able to pay it back right so so that means uh, this person can comfortably take a loan and pay in ZMI and then uh, be rest assured later on. Now let's assume uh, the person had taken a 40 year loan, let's assume, right? So then you need to also check Saturn, right? So then what about Saturn? Sat oops. Yeah, so then we need to check Saturn, right? So if you see Saturn, then what happens? 47 to 66, quite a long time, right? So now, what about Saturn? Saturn is the 12th Lord in the 10th house. Lagna Lord in the 10th house. Very good. It's like Siddha Yoga is there in the chart. 12th Lord in the 10th. So there will be some more expenditure and he might end up taking a loan for some other purposes also during Saturn. Well, what about the nakshatra saturn is in jeshta nakshatra right and jeshta is ruled by mercury so again the eighth house is associated so he will definitely most likely take <laughs> another loan during saturn but because he's in the 10th house and because he has had a very he will hopefully have a very good rahu and jupiter dasha for finances so we we can say that yes it is good if you pay back this loan within 25 years by end of 2047 that is a recommendation which you can give as an astrologer because then the person will be able to plan properly because you have to tell him that sir best is you pay this loan back because during Saturn Mahadasha it is likely that you might 
uh, you know take another loan so two loans may be a bit difficult even though saturn is in the 10th house you will be able to pay it back but you will have more challenges so do not extend this to 40 years even if you want even if the mort mortgage is a bit higher paid off completely by 2047 in the next 25 years right so this is the advice that you can give then the person takes another loan in saturn and then we can see the rest what happens later okay uh, because then during his old age why why should he be burdened with you know two two big loans right so of course if that is there in his destiny that will anyways happen he will be burdened somehow or the other but as an astrologer it is our job to minimize people's suffering right to whatever extent we can okay so using this simple approach you can very easily predict if somebody will be able to pay their loan back or their mortgage or emi or whatever it is okay and especially home loans okay and of course if somebody says you know i want to take a car loan it will last for seven years eight years so what do you need to do you need to check rahu mahadasha that's all shortcut right one planet and then that's all okay so now suppose jupiter was not well placed okay jupiter was in another dusthana and lording another dusthana house then what would have happened then maybe the person would have been forced to sell his house you know, for a lesser price or whatever and then pay all the mortgage so some calamity would have come right but now because guru is very well placed in the lagna in digbala uh, therefore also lording the 11th 11th lord in lagna fantastic out of the world brilliant placement so effortlessly the person will be able to pay back now but imagine if it would have been otherwise so you might so then what would you need to suggest then you need to tell him clearly that my dear sir it is good if you can pay it off within the next uh, eight years right although it's difficult but if the person says you know oh yeah, yeah i can do that you know i can double my mortgage you know i, I have a lot of savings you know i have money from my father inheritance or whatever right my grandfather left me a fortune or something like this if he says then you have to tell him that use half of the money from there and take half or 30 percent of the loan and then get it done so this is how you need to help people okay so i hope this video helped you to understand how should you uh, approach this question you know will i be able to pay off my loans or not all right so thank you very much for your patience if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you have not watched other videos on uh, this astrology basics playlist then please watch it and if you want a consultation from me please go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you